Welcome to the module on optimizing data usage with Microsoft Graph query parameters. In this module, you're going to learn how to manipulate queries for Microsoft Graph using query parameters. Hi, I'm Andrew Connell. I'm a Microsoft MVP in the area of Microsoft 365 development. I have a lot of experience with SharePoint development, Microsoft Graph, Microsoft Teams, developing add-ins for Microsoft Office, as well as developing applications for Microsoft Identity, including Azure Active Directory. This video is the first in a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning Module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning Module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning Module. Okay, let's get started. In this module, you're going to learn how to manipulate queries for Microsoft Graph using query parameters. Microsoft Graph provides a unified programmability model that you can use to build apps for organizations and consumers that interact with the data of millions of users. Microsoft Graph APIs implement many of the OData protocol's query parameters. Query parameters will help you achieve multiple tasks, such as limiting the amount of data returned by requests to Microsoft Graph, such as controlling how many fields are returned for each record, how many records are returned, and also filtering or searching for desired information. In this module, we're gonna cover an overview of Microsoft Graph and how to access it. And then we're gonna dive into manipulating responses with query parameters, controlling the amount of data that comes back from our queries, and then also manipulating the order and the format in which the data is returned. Microsoft Graph's REST API conforms to the OData v4 protocol, and one aspect of this is that the REST API supports many query parameters. These parameters enable developers to specify and control the amount of data returned in the responses. Each endpoint exposed by Microsoft Graph has varying support for different query parameters. For example, the count query parameter is supported by the contacts endpoint, but is not supported for directory objects like users and groups. Query parameters are added to the query string portion of a URL and have a dollar prefix. Each query parameter has a different syntax for usage. So for example, the count query parameter, when set to true, will tell Microsoft Graph to report the total number of items in the collection, regardless of how many items are returned by the request. In certain situations, the count parameter can dramatically reduce the amount of data returned by the service, reducing the amount of work that Microsoft Graph has to take uh, to calculate the value and all the bandwidth that's consumed by your application. One of the most powerful uses of query parameters is to control how much data is returned in the response to a request. The top prop parameter enables you to limit the response to only include specific number of records. The skip query parameter enables you to skip the first number of results in the response. Some queries against Microsoft Graph can return multiple pages of data, either because of server-side paging or because of the use of a top query parameter to specifically limit the, say, the page size in a request. When a result set spans multiple pages, Microsoft Graph returns an OData next link property in the response that contains a URL to the next page of results. You can retrieve the next page of results by sending the URL of the value of the OData next link property uh, to Microsoft Graph. Microsoft Graph will continue to return a reference to the next page of data and the next link property with each response until all the pages of the result have been uh, read. Microsoft Graph responses will include a set of default properties when no result set has been defined. Including default properties means that you only want the display name and the email address of many users. You'll actually receive a lot more data that isn't going to be used. To optimize the request and speed up the responses, you can use the select parameter to specify a comma delimited list of properties that you want to receive in the response. Another powerful use of query parameters is to control how the data is returned in the response to a request. Some service may or may not return data in ascending order by default. The order by parameter enables developers to let the data from Microsoft Graph be pre-sorted. By default, data is returned in ascending order, but you can add the DESC uh, keyword after the property to sort in descending order. And it also supports sorting by multiple fields by separating each field with a comma. Complex fields can also be sorted. Complex types, such as the from field in an email message, is a complex type of an email address that contains uh, the name and address property. To sort by name, you should use the from slash email address slash name. 
and by default, responses to Microsoft Graph are returned in JSON format. However, you can request data in two other formats, XML and Atom, by adding the format parameter. 